toxin that can escalate team mood swings. Nope. Nope. Come on, him? Ooh, I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Not all personal injury law firms are the same. Experience counts. Results matter. If your case is important to you, call us now for a free consultation. KTLA 5's Frank Buckley shows you the side of newsmakers you rarely get to see. Frank Buckley interviews today at 4.30 on KTLA 5. Good morning and happy Sunday. Welcome to the Gateway 5 Morning News here at 10 o'clock. I'm Mark Mester. While gas prices continue to go down, we've got a warning for you about a scam that's being pulled on some drivers at the pump. Good morning to you. I'm Lynette Romero. You have heard of couples living in separate bedrooms, or at least sleeping in separate bedrooms. What about living in separate homes? How one couple said it changed their relationship. I would say so. They say it changed their relationship. <laughs> It's called ending the relationship. He said it made it better. Right. Ending it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm Dana Devon. All right, coming up, the one person in the world who doesn't like Chris Hemsworth's body in Thor. We'll talk all about that. Plus, the weekend as an actor. I'll explain. Coming up in the Entertainment Report. Stay tuned. And we have sunshine inland spots still foggy along the coast. We'll talk about triple digits and thunderstorms straight ahead. Good Sunday morning to you. It is 10 a.m. We begin this morning with a, a look for uh, jolly old England. Is <laughs> England always jolly? <laughs> Why do they always say that? Because they're having a jolly old time. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Careful with that accent. Be careful with that accent. Oh, are people upset the accents? They didn't like the Queen. What did you? I was not allowed, I guess, to to do the accent when I talked about the Queen's telegram to in my oh link up with Lynette. Gosh. I'm not allowed. Can I tell you how tired I am? I thought you meant like Queen's New York, and I thought you meant. Did you do a New York accent? Or you did <laughs> no, a queen, did, it was like, the Queen of England. She let me hear it. To tell, no, I'm not. Oh, doing come it. on. No, it was come on, Lynette. The truth, like, the truth is, I'm not very good Lynette, at it. You're anyway. a national I treasure. Was... Come on. It was just like no, this. No, no. I'm not very good. I wished I could do a really good English accent because I think it's really great accent like if I could talk like Princess Diana I would do it all day long I heard it's the I tea just, it's the tea it's the way you say tea I wish I could do it is it, it? just but get some tea was, and scrumpets I was I yeah. was told to I said how no the, the, what they said was how dare you how dare, <laughs> how dare you how I dared to do it. You dared? I'm sorry. The gall. I, I apologize. Huh. Well, gall. anyways. 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 It's nice to see a pier that's not in Southern California, right? This yeah, is this the Eastbourne is Pier. It's on England's southern coast. If you did not know, Eastbourne is cousins with Westbourne. It's about 50 <laughs> miles from London. It's a popular tourist spot. The pier that you're looking at uh -huh. originally opened way back in 1870. It is beautiful Which there, isn't a lot it? of California piers mm -hmm. were built during that time as well. It is beautiful there. Yeah, it is. It's, it's not way back for that's a good point. Yeah, 1870 it's was way just, yeah. I, always, I always forget how young America is. Right? Yeah. Very well, still, still. Have you been? I have not been to England. England. I have not. That's why I can't do the accent very well, I suppose. I thought it was um, great. But you know what? I will tell you that we love to go around the world. We do. At 9 and 10 o'clock hour. That's true. All right, now to the latest involving our top stories this morning. This involves breaking news that we've been following, and it's new details in a late-night shooting of a San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputy. KTL 5's Aaron Myers joins us live now in Rancho Cucamonga with the very latest updates. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Lynette. Good morning, Mark. We know that deputy is in stable condition and the suspect is in custody right now. The scene is still active here and investigators have been out here for hours. Uh, we do have new video we can show you as well. This was captured by a resident who heard the shots. It shows deputies treating the injured deputy after he was shot by the suspect. As for what happened, this is what we know. Shortly after midnight, a deputy from the Rancho Cucamonga station responded to a call for service. That was for a suspicious vehicle that had been spotted on Sycamore Court near 
Wilson Avenue. When the deputy arrived, he made contact with the driver and did a records check. At some point, the driver produced a gun and shot the deputy twice. The deputy returned fire and the gunman fled on foot. The injured deputy radioed he'd been shot and was able to give a suspect description. One resident told us what he saw and heard. I heard like one or two shots and then like a few seconds after that I heard five or six shots back to back. So then I just ran over my backyard and I saw like a deputy on the ground. When additional deputies arrived, they provided first aid while others set up a perimeter and began to search for the shooter. The injured deputy was taken to Pomona Valley Hospital by helicopter. We are told the deputy was treated and is currently in stable condition. A short time after the shooting, other deputies started to arrive at the hospital to show their support. Sheriff Shannon Dykus was also able to speak with that injured deputy. I did have a chance to talk to the deputy and told him how proud I was of him and his response and to think about being shot and still being able to put out information to your partners and ultimately take a dangerous suspect into custody. As for the alleged shooter, he was spotted walking near Chafee College, which isn't too far from the original scene. Deputies took him into custody, and he has been identified as 35-year-old Nicholas Campbell from Northern California. He was on parole for carjacking, and investigators say he has an extensive criminal history. He was not hurt in the shooting, and we're told that two guns were found at the scene. One is believed to be the deputies, the other the alleged shooters. Now back here live, the sheriff says that the deputy is a five-year veteran of the force and that he was based here in Rancho. Cucamonga. Reporting live in Rancho Cucamonga, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you both in the studio. All right, Erin, thank you for that live update. Police believe a man they, a man uh, that killed they killed during a raid in Anaheim on Friday night was responsible for the fatal stabbing of former NASCAR driver Bobby East. It happened on Wednesday in Westminster. East was stabbed at a 76 gas station near the 405 freeway. He died later at the hospital. Now, at first, police thought the former USAC champion was a transient. The man suspected of killing him has now been identified as 27-year-old Trent Millsap. That's who police killed during Friday night's raid. NASCAR has just released a statement which reads in part, we are saddened to learn of the tragic death of Bobby East and we extend our deepest and heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of Bobby, a true racer. So there is a new gas stealing scam we need to tell you about this morning. You need to watch out for during these days of really high gas prices. Watch right here as this Mercedes driver in Roseville switches out the nozzle at the pump before another driver pulls right up. The driver thinks he's filling up his car with gas, but it's really going into the Mercedes that's on the other side. The unsuspecting driver doesn't notice until it's too late. Simple plan, and this guy got away with it, at least for now, but Roseville police say they busted a few others who weren't as slick. Authorities warn, make sure you're always on alert and you look for possible suspicious activity in order to avoid falling victim to these types of scams. And on that very topic, California gas prices, they've in fact dropped back below $6 a gallon on average in L.A. County. The average for a gallon of unleaded here in L.A. County now rests at $5.98. That's a 47 cent drop over the past month. It's actually the lowest the price has been since May 15th, but it's still more than $1.64 higher than this time last year. Orange County, we've got you guys covered. You guys are seeing another dip as well. Average price for unleaded and OC, that's going to set you at about $5.87 a gallon. That's the lowest that they've seen unleaded go since May 13th. Meantime, the national average, it's about 15 cents less than a week ago at $4.53 a gallon, but still $1.37 higher than in 2021. A family in Georgia has found their solution to the housing shortage. And they did it using a shed from Home Depot. So believe it or not, this, what you're looking at right there, it's an 860 square foot, three story tiny home, is actually a tough shed. That's like my apartment. You can see it has a living room, full size kitchen, even a downstairs bathroom. And then going upstairs is a bedroom. There's another bathroom, a walk-in closet, and a washer dryer tough shed. Actually, what? manufactures tiny homes for people to put on their property. This one will run you about 20 grand to install, not including things like hardwood floors, granite countertops, and you know all the other finishing touches. Like the kids, the teenager, <laughs> right. the toddler, uh, not included. I guess they recently just sold the home for $312,000. That's a major yeah. profit. But in LA, that thing would start at a million. I want one. Right. Can I come in your backyard? <laughs>
I don't have a backyard. Yo, you get off the shed. <gasps> that's actually, like, wow. That's genius. Right? You just connect to your sewer water, I'm assuming, for your house that you live on the property? Hmm. Maybe? Maybe? Or you just rough oh, it? We'll get to that later. You right? just rough it? <laughs> right? You just go outside. <laughs> okay, wait. Did you see what I just saw? What? Was In there, the bathroom? Was there, there a urinal? There's a little, there was a little kid urinal? He wasn't using it, was he? No. It was, okay, it was just... Okay. But it was like a little green little kid urinal, but I wonder if it was attached to anything? That's interesting. Huh. Wow. It's an add-on. It's not included in the 20 grand. All right, <laughs> 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 uh, we're trying to find... You're going to try to re-rack re that. This is really cool, though. That That's actually bigger than 860 square feet. Um, yeah, right? they, they had to Second add floor, on. To add I mean, it on. All right, let's see. Okay. Let's, let's take a look. <laughs> we have it. Do we have the video? So All right. Okay. So All right. There's the house. We're watching okay. Goofy. They okay. go into the yeah, bathroom. Yeah. We're going into the bathroom. And, and then I didn't see the it other there. bathroom. Hang on. This is bathroom. bigger than eight. Okay. And then we're going to go. Crib. Nice. There's the it's a nice bed. Yeah. Nice. And then we're going to go in there. All right. Yeah. Let's so see. We have a baby. Oh. Mm -hmm. Got a nice do, mirror. Do, Mirrors do, are always helpful. Do, right. Do, 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 do. Washer nice dryer. dryer. Mm -hmm. I mean, for 20 grand. And see oh, oh, I see it. It was on the wall. It's going to go back.